Saturday, a group of white supremacists calling themselves the Patriot Front marched through Washington, D.C., carrying American flags and chanting, Reclaim America. And the demonstration was caught on video. Which brings us to a segment called Some Petty Observations. This group is dangerous and anti-American, but also, can we talk about their complete lack of rhythm? Look at this. What are you doing? What are these people stepping on? The ones and sevens? That is the sloppiest beat I have ever heard in my life. It sounds like he picked up the sticks and then just dropped them on the drums. The sound they made are the sound that they're going with. These guys, they were protesting America and across the street, a group of metronomes was protesting them. flopping around, flopping, like a bunch of right-wing scarecrows f come to life. Also, now conservatives want to wear face masks? This photo is more hypocritical than a vegetarian eating a meat lover's pizza. Those aren't even good face masks. It looks like you were putting on a shirt and you accidentally put your face in the sleeve hole. Also, you're trying to intimidate people and the best outfit you could come up with was the uniform from Blockbuster Video. What are you trying to intimidate me into doing? Rewinding. This is the most pathetic display of tough guy attire I have ever seen. This guy's not sure if he wants to ethnically cleanse America or slide into first. <laughs> and check out this man's homemade shield. Where did you get that? He man's Etsy shop? What you fixing to do? Are you fixing to fight or sled down a hill? Look, the rise of white supremacist groups in America is a serious problem. According to the ADL, racist propaganda is at an all-time high in our country. We should take these groups seriously, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't also make time for some petty observations. Now, there's one more important news story I want to talk about tonight. The makers of Kool-Aid recently issued a recall for the beverage because it may contain pieces of metal and glass. Here to comment, please welcome the Kool-Aid man. Hey, Amber, happy to be here. Kool-Aid man, where are you? Uh, I'm behind this wall. Oh, uh, are you gonna do the thing? What thing? The thing where you crash through it. Oh, yeah, uh, no. But that's what you're known for. It's your signature move. You crash through the wall and you yell, oh, yeah. Oh, so you think the only way for Kool-Aid to be entertaining is to break through walls and carry on like a buffoon? Well, sorry. You'll have to find a different beverage to make you a fool. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. you just, it's just always been my dream to see this happen in real life. No, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm just really stressed about this recall. It used to be that when you thought about Kool-Aid, you thought about having fun. But now I'm associated with danger. This recall is ruining my reputation, and I'm stressed. Well, if it makes you feel better, I still think you're fun. You do? Yeah. When I think of you, I think of summertime and birthday parties and lemonade stands. I think of good times. Really? Really? And I bet a lot of other people feel the same way. Wow. <laughs> you see, I thought things were over for me. Oh, no way, Kool-Aid man. I think they've just begun. You're right. This recall isn't going to bring me down. I'm going to prove to the world that I still got it. Here I come! Kool-Aid man? Kool-Aid man? Are you okay? Love. <laughs>